T-shirt sizes are a technique we can use when creating ARM templates to try and simplify the amount of parameters we're having to pass in at deploy time. The template we've got on screen here is a, a simple one to deploy a web application and a SQL Server database. It's a fairly common deployment when you're deploying a web application. And you can see here in this template, we are passing in five parameters. And I'm keeping these simple, so there are other ones we don't need to actually deploy this, but for this example, these are the five critical ones which define the sizing of our application. So we're passing in values for the web application size, how many instances of the web application we want to deploy, the SQL tier, the number of DTUs for the SQL database, and the size of the SQL database in bytes. This is a fairly reasonable amount of parameters just to configure an application. It also leaves the choice of these sizes up to the user who's deploying the template. Now, in some situations, that might be fine but often you're going to want to control what sort of combination of sizes the user can pick. So you don't necessarily want them to go to go and pick a P3 web application and then pair that with an S0 database. The sizings don't, don't match up for the demand the application is likely to place on the database. So what we can do instead is use a te this technique called t-shirt sizes to reduce the amount of parameters and limit what can be chosen. In this example, we've got the same template but we've swapped out all those parameters for a single parameter which defines the size of the application. So we've got this application size parameter and it has three acceptable values, small, medium or large. And those are the only values that the user can pass in when they're going to deploy this template. Where the magic then happens is in the variables section. So the first thing you can see we've got in here is this app size variable. And this is concatenating the string app size with that application size parameter which will then lead to a variable which has the content of app size small, app size medium, or app size large, depending on what's been passed in. And you can see those are the names of the variables underneath. Now these three variables are what are called complex uh, objects within ARM templates, and they allow us to define resources that have sub values. So we've got an app size small variable, and it has sub values that define all the individual components of, that we need to be able to fill in the data for our web application and SQL database. So the size of the application, the number of web applications instances, the tier of the SQL Server DTUs, and the size of the SQL Server database. And so that means when the user passes in small, medium, or large, effectively they are picking one of these variables. And that will define everything else that is in the rest of the script. This allows us to ensure that the user is only picking approved size combinations and that they have a very simple interface into the template. So now that we've defined those complex objects that we, we can then use in our template, we need to actually reference them in the rest of our template. So if we scroll down and have a look at the web application, you can see here in the SKU section, we are defining the web application size and count or capacity using those complex objects. So we're referencing variables app size, which is that concatenated string of app size and the actual size, which is then used to look up the complex objects we want. And then dot web app size references the web app size sub variable, which will then fill in this value. So for name, if we pick the small one, we're going to get an S1. If we pick medium, we're going to get an S2. And if we pick large, we're going to get an S3. Similarly for capacity, if the parameter we passed in was small, we get one instance. Medium, again, one instance. And large would be three instances. And we continue to use that syntax all the way through the template in the database section as well, where we pick the tier and the DTU and the size. The one slight downside to this method is that in tools like VS Code, where it's doing syntax validation, you can see here we've got a red underline because it's not validated that. Unfortunately, the VS Code syntax analyzer, for some reason, doesn't like this type of reference, but it does work just fine when you come to deploy it. If we then have a quick look at our actual parameter file we'll pass in when deploying this, and you can see it's very simple. We've got a single parameter with a value of medium in this instance. So our deployment became much simpler. And that's all there is to using t-shirt sizes within your ARM templates. Thanks for watching.